So today is going to be a big clean up day because this is everything left over from Henry's birthday and my house is an absolute tip with toys and the floors dirty. We need to give the floor a good deep clean ready for the new rug to go down and Henry's got a birthday party to go to haven't you? Are you tidying your toys up nice? I'm trying to put this on here, but I'm trying to be in the Oh dear. I am. But the first priority is breakfast and coffee time. Now, as you all know, I love a coffee and my favourite is pumpkin spice latte. But obviously buying them from um, Starbucks every day is like £4.50 or something. So I get these Nescafe latte packets, which is just this powder here and then I bought this off Amazon which is a pumpkin spice syrup as you can tell it's nearly gone um yeah it's a much cheaper alternative because you get like eight sachets for like one pound sixty or something and then that was ten pound for the bottle off Amazon so yeah works out a lot cheaper than four pound fifty a day what have you got in your party bags cake and cake. some sweets in a bag cake and some sweets you're very lucky aren't you Lots of cake has been consumed this weekend, hasn't it? Yeah. Hi everyone, so today is Sunday and this morning Henry's been at a party for one of the kids in his class. We went to a gymnastics place which was great for Penelope. She came along with us and was doing some of her gymnastics. Just been to the tip to drop off some cardboard because you saw the mess. And whilst I've been out, my lovely husband has cleaned every area up. It smells amazing. Pumpkin spice, Yankee candles. I was trying to think of where they were from. Pumpkin spice, Yankee candle fragrance is just... So, let's open this. Really could have done with some scissors, to be honest with you. It's very similar the last one. Ugh. So it is just, oh it stings. It's just a grey rug with like crisscrosses on. I had kind of more of a flocked pattern on the last one. Um, oh, this is oh. Don't chew that lady, please. I think I'm gonna have to get can I do it? Can we? Oh yes. Stronger than I thought. Spin, 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 spin. How far around is that gonna go? <laughs> oh god, I'm not strong enough for this. Ah, my nail. Still need to get my nails done from when I snapped it the other day. I just glued them back on. Um, Coral, who does my nails, has rudely gone on holiday. I mean, does she not know priorities? So I'm gonna get booked in with her this week if I can. When she's back, get these nails fixed. Oh, do you know what I hate about new rugs is when it just rolls. Actually, do you know what? The quality's not that bad. For the price, anyway. Quite good quality. So this is the rug. Like I said, it's just a basic bog standard one because I couldn't find one that I really, really liked in the size I wanted, so we're gonna make do. Henry's already made a mess with his toys, Kieran's not gonna be impressed, he's just spent ages signing up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need Kieran to lift. I just knocked all the bloody cards off with my big butt. I'm gonna need Kieran to lift the sofa. You, my pooch, do not eye this up. It is not a potty. It is not for your uringing, uringing, urining. It's not even a word. No urine on the carpet. Got it? Have you got it? You're such a sweet girl. You look like butter wouldn't melt, but when it gets cold, because she has back issues, like a mama, she doesn't want to go outside in the cold for ways. So she goes to the door and then as soon as she gets to the door, she runs in here and wee somewhere, which is not a good behavior, is it, lady? No, we don't do it, no. She's like, I don't do anything. I don't know what you're on about.
everyone so today is now monday i am absolutely exhausted from the weekend and i'm really feeling it in like every part of my body is just aching so i was going to go to the gym today to do my strength training but i just really couldn't face being in public so i thought i'll come home i'll do a workout off youtube so i'll show you which channels i go to for my workouts and um, so I thought I would do that, just maybe do a, a more gentle sort of exercise and then I feel like I need a bit of a sleep. If I can, I'm terrible, I can't nap, I'm not a nap person, but I'm just going to see if I can maybe rest a little bit. Sometimes I find if I watch something, I'll drift off, so I might see if I can do that. But I've got a guy coming at one um, from the pain clinic, so I'm entering a pain trial, no, I'm entering a pain workshop or course or something next week but they're doing these uh, studies and trials at the moment so he's coming round because they've asked me to participate in this study um, and he's going to fit a device on my leg which I'm hoping isn't painful <laughs> so he's coming round at one so yeah I want to get what time are we on now like five past nine. Oh, I got back from school quite quick um, so yeah it's five past nine now he's coming at one so that gives me a good time to have a bit of a rest and then I want to try and get the house in some kind of order. So Kieran gave a good clean up yesterday, but I just feel like everything's still messy. It's driving me bonkers. I don't know whether you guys with kids feel the same way. Um, like there's just always something. There's just something like, look at this. This is just what, why are these just dangling around my house? And bouncy balls and socks, everything. So I'm going to just, go round with a basket and put everything in it that should not be down here and take it upstairs. Upstairs is a bomb site. It's, I'm not even gonna, this isn't going very well. Um, I'm not even gonna attempt upstairs, I don't think. The, the amount of clothes. So I got through all my washing this weekend, which is quite an achievement, but now it all needs putting away. So that's just all on the maidens upstairs waiting to go away. And yeah, so that's gonna be my amazing monday um but just as little enough, i try and get things done little and often where i can when i'm struggling um is the best thing to do is just like how do you eat an elephant just one bite so just take it one chunk at a time and you'll get there i mean it looks messier in here because all henry's cards are out i need to put the halloween stuff away um and then yeah, the toys, so if you look behind my sofa, I've got this bay window and I try and hide some of the toys behind here, but it's grown excessively. So I think I might have to get rid of the Our Generation Vet Station. We love the stables and the horse and everything. Um, I don't know, I'd feel really, I might see if she wants to get rid of the school because she's got the school as well upstairs. Because if we could get rid of the school, then I can put the vets upstairs um there's just a lot of stuff everything's just so big and bulky and i know that they're only little for a short time and i should enjoy it but mess just drives me mad um so it is like kind of hidden i think it's not helped that henry's hot wheels are sort of very brightly colored it's not it's messing with my decor so um i'm just gonna go and organize some of their rooms around they've got loads of baskets that have got space to put toys in it's just the fact that these things are so big that they don't fit in any of those things which is a shame um and i didn't buy all this stuff my friend was really kind and gave penelope pretty much the entire smith's aisle of our generation which costs an absolute fortune to buy i would have never have bought her all those things because they're just far too expensive for what they are um and my friend gave her loads of them which was very generous but now i've not got the space for it so we just need to sort of downsize some of the stuff i'm debating whether to get rid of a doll's pram um she never plays with it but then if i get rid of it she'll want it so it's just one of those things isn't it but we'll find something i need to go and purge all of my drawers i was I've got stuff in there that's been in there ages and it just needs binning. I need to just go through all my makeup. I mean, I, I used to be like so obsessed with makeup and I wanted it in every little colour and I like, I've got tons of makeup, but I don't use hardly any of it. 
and it's probably gone off by now so I just need to go through and purge it all so that um, my drawers are just all like nice and neat and I can just start fresh and yeah so I'm gonna get on with my workout now I'll show you who I watch where's my remote Henry's socks that I found in his school bag that are wet lovely so my usual go-to will be Rebecca Louise or I don't even know if that is pointing at the TV. Uh, Rebecca Louise or Lucy Wyndham Reed, they're my favourites to do. I'm gonna go with Rebecca today. Um so I'm not sure if you know Rebecca's workouts. I've been using Rebecca's workouts for a very, very long time now. So I started following Rebecca when she used to be on Exit workouts when I just had Penelope so Penelope seven now seven and a half so yeah she has some like programs that she does and there's different levels so you can do shorts sit, like start a series so she has these series ones that are all together um abs you know you can do like 30 day summer series so these are some that I've done already um Lucy Wyndham Reed. What I love about Lucy's channel is it's not high impact. I mean, she's got some high impact, but you've got like the seven minute workout, three minute workout, and the really good workouts. Um, like you can do three minutes every day, do you know what I mean? So she's got walking challenges. So these are good for people like myself that have mobility issues, but she does a lot of it is all standing. They're all standing workouts, so you're not getting up and down and faffing about like that. So that's what I really love about her workouts. But I'm gonna go with Lucy, I think, not Lucy, Rebecca, I can't even get to speak today. I'm gonna go with Rebecca today. <laughs> my workout I only did 20 minutes of that grow with Joe so it's the first time doing grow with Joe and I was dying it wasn't even that energetic but my body is just aching so much yeah I've had a little rest but you know me I can't rest too long I've got problems um, I just can't rest too long so I'm gonna start cracking on with oh God, I'm so out of breath um, I'm going to crack on with some jobs. I can't believe I'm coming on camera looking this way. I'm an absolute mess. So I've got all this washing here that needs putting away. I've got the Halloween stuff. And then my bedroom is just, it's literally just clothes. Like, Kim, cl clothes everywhere. Oh, you're jumping up on your buddy. Clothes everywhere. So once the clothes get put away, it won't look that bad. It's just, I'm so bad with the laundry. <laughs> Like, I can't cope with it. I'm struggling to breathe. Whew. So, I'm gonna see what Penelope's room is looking like. She's not opened her blinds yet. Oh, her room's not too bad. So she's okay. She'll open her blinds. Let me put you down. So she just has some coats. But yeah, she's got, so she's got the diner the Our Generation Diner and the school here. But because the school's there, she never plays with it because it's underneath for storage. So I just, I don't know, I just feel like we should get rid of it because she's got tons of toys. It's just ridiculous. She's got this doll's house. And then under a bed, which we was mainly having this as storage, it's all like a Barbie stuff and her LOLs and everything. So yeah, she's not getting much for Christmas. She's getting a, she wants a piano. So yeah, keyboard and then just little bits of stuff. She's not getting anything um, big. So yeah, let's get all this washing. And then this bathroom, I've got a load of stuff in here that needs sorting out down the side. And then how's the dressing room looking? Just some washing again. <laughs> Everywhere's just a mess. But we finally got our skirting boards on. Um, I just need to buy the doors for the dressing room because it just looks so messy with no doors on there so that's going to be the next thing um, and let's just see how Henry's room is getting on I'm just taking you on a tour around the house now aren't I um, Henry's room so these are all these toys 
from his birthday. So it's not too bad. Um, there's some library books we need to take back. So he again, he's got the same bed as Penelope. Obviously looks very different because we customised hers. We were going to do something similar for Henry. But when we put his, we was going to put his bed here when we got this. We had a, I had a whole idea for like a tree house. But when we put it in and then we had the wardrobe on this side, there was literally a tiny bit of floor space here. So Kieran said the height of the bed was just at the height of the window. So he said, why don't we put it in front of the window and see how it goes, which give him so much more floor space because it is a smaller bedroom. So yeah. That's why it ended up over here. Um, I don't know whether I've shown you all Henry's room since we did it up. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but we've gone for like a jungle theme. Um, and I just need to sort some toys out in there, see if we can get rid of anything um, that he doesn't play with anymore, anything that's a bit babyish. And then, yeah, just give it a bit of a tidy round. So I'm going to crack on with that. So I'm just in Henry's room. I'm gonna go, oh God, it's so uncomfortable. Um, I'm gonna go through his boxes and see what he's got. I really need to get in his tie box under his bed. There's just no light in there. I might have to go and get my ring light and shine it down under. Um, he got some really lovely presents. Um, buddy, what are you doing? You're such a loyal boy, aren't you? Like, lady does not care. She's on her bed downstairs asleep. I've had to lock her in the kitchen because she is a nightmare at the minute she keeps weeing in the house um i think it's because of the weather change um we've been to the vets with her before about this she does it every year around this time um when the weather drops she just won't go outside for a wee but she's sneaky and like we'll let her out and then she'll force like a small little wee out on something but i put the new rug down yesterday and I'm not having it ruined so she's locked in the kitchen with the baby gate if she wants to come out she will bark but she's asleep so buddy what are you doing what are you doing you're a good boy aren't you can I have a cuddle can I have a cuddle that's a nice cuddle just a cuddle that's it good good boy He's going to sit on me now and I'm not going to be able to get anything done. Can I have a high five? High fives? No? You cuddle in still. Okay. Good boy. Can I have a kiss? A cuddle. That's a good boy. You're getting better with your manners. Usually by now he climbs up on you. And you're just so loving. You've just got so much love to give. You wouldn't think so if you come around my house because he barks at everyone, don't you? Don't you? Ooh. Good boy. Like, can you get off me now, please? No. Oh, yeah, that's what you normally do, isn't it? Get off. No, don't lie down on me. Come on, over here. Good boy. That's it. You sit there. Mummy's going to put Gilmore Girls on because I'm still making my way through. And I'm going to get on with tidying Henry's stuff up. So, just some ideas for boy presents because some of these things I would never ever think to buy him. I mean, not just boys, girls as well would love these, but obviously because it was Henry, he's a boy. Um, these are things that people got him. So they got him a giant box of stencils, which I thought was a really good idea. I've never even seen these, wouldn't have even thought to do it. But it's got like, you know, under the sea, uh, safari, and then kind of like North America forest sort of things, like with a moose and a bear, and then dinosaurs. So that's great. It's got 130 stenciling shapes. Buddy! Okay, so things escalated quickly. Um, and now Henry's room is a real mess, but I've got some toys that I'm going to get rid of. I'm just going to go and get the hoover so I can hoover out underneath his bed. The toys in his toy box are pretty much, I think we cleared most of them out last time, so it's basically like action figures and Toy Story stuff mainly in here. Are you having an investigation, buddy? Bud birds. Come on out. I'm going to try and get the basket out with all of the... Oh, sorry, buddy. I just bumped you on the head. Um, the basket with all the teddies and try and get rid of some of those out of there. So this is all of his Paw Patrol things. So if you see what I mean, like if we can have a shelf across here, we can put 
some under it and some on top of it and it'll just make things life a little bit neater all around so I think the Kallax unit is probably going to be the best thing because I don't think Kieran's I was wanting him to make like a shelf off of this step or even like two shelves one off each step going across to the back but he would need to obviously build something at the back so I'll see what he says later and if not I will buy a new Kallax unit but we're getting there I'm seeing progress which is all that matters really so Henry's room is looking great I've just hoovered but then my little footprints are everywhere so yeah I've just left his library books on the top so they don't get mixed up with his other books put his smaller books in the little Lion King basket we got this from Primark a few years ago now so I doubt that they would have that in but it's just really cute I love the little shadows on there um so I've sort of his jammies I've put all his new birthday stuff in this box and then I've just rearranged some of his stuff so he's got dinosaurs in here Paw Patrol extra stuff in here and yeah I've rearranged under his bed to fit his Hot Wheels there um and like I said we just need to sort a shelf out for all these because they're basically just piled on top of each other got rid of some of the teddies out of the basket and i've put some of his christmas teddies on here for now because he'll want to dig those out so i thought i might as well get them out whilst i was already organized he's got his paw patrol pups and his christmas teddies there um so yeah i feel like henry's room is quite organized the only thing i'm going to do in here what time are we we're 25 past 12 now and the the pain guys come in at one so i'm just going to get myself in some shorts because he's going to have to attach this thing to my leg and um, make myself a bit more presentable and then i might just organize the clothes in henry's wardrobe because he's got loads of stuff that just doesn't fit him anymore um so i just need to go through all of that and his drawers and just sort some stuff out he could do with a shelf in here as well really i did buy a shoe rack but it was literally like five millimeters too big um so he can put his baskets on top because it's just a bit of a mess at the moment so yeah that's the next job in henry's room but other than that we are pretty good his toys are organized i'm happy about that and it didn't take too long to be honest it felt it looked worse than it actually was so now i just need to go and finish off my room as well so I've got a bag of clothes, a bag of toys to donate and rubbish here. So we're getting somewhere. I'm quite proud that we got a full bag of toys there. So it's always easier to do when they're not in the house because otherwise they want to cling onto everything. So I've now had the device attached. Um, it wasn't too difficult just hope this stays on it feels weird it's not like painful or un uncomfortable it's just like something's pressing on you don't lick me no um i look so sexy in um, these shorts <laughs> where he was like oh you're the only person today that's put shorts on i was like yeah <laughs> i thought thought it through bit of forward thinking lady stop licking me she's a lick monster no no <laughs> stop it what do you want she wants a treat Ooh. i love you love you mm -hmm. you want treats don't you Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely time, whatever you're doing, whatever you've been doing. I'm not sure what day this is going to go up, so it might be before the weekend, it might be after the weekend. So today is Thursday and I am just at the hospital, so I've just arrived at the hospital for an appointment for a procedure. So um, it's something I've not really spoken about um, on Instagram or with many people to be honest with you. But when the procedure was finally booked in, I came in July for this procedure to be told that my appointment was cancelled and it's been post been like put on a waiting list again so I've finally got my appointment today I've confirmed that it's gonna go ahead before I've come here this time so I've not really spoke about it until I had the confirmation um and it's a it's an appointment to remove tumors off my cervix so obviously if you are squeamish or you don't like to talk about women's health or anything fast forward a little bit um but yeah i've been having symptoms you know like 
offish symptoms for since March 2021. I spoke to the nurse at my doctor's about it. She was like, that's normal. You're just worrying about nothing. And as the year went on, it got progressively worse. And I thought, this isn't normal. So I spoke to a different nurse around September time last year. You might be thinking, well, that's six months. Why did you wait six months? And I think it was just because I thought, she's just going to tell me it's normal again. And I'm going to get treated like I'm stupid. Plus, I've had so many health issues. I've been in and out of the doctors so many times. I just was fed up with it. So anyway, the nurse then sent me for loads of testing. She's like, it's not normal. She sent me for loads of tests. She referred me to gynecology. She was amazing. Um, then gynecology made me wait till March for an appointment. I came on two occasions for appointment to be told they were cancelled. Just appalling. The way that they treat women in these situations is appalling because it's worrying. It's worrying, especially when you get to a certain age. You know, obviously you hear horror stories and you're always told for like early early testing for certain things so I was concerned and then when he told me I had tumours on my cervix my head just about fell off I was in a state um I was so upset about it because obviously what's the first thing that comes to your head with the word tumour my head just fell off um and I've tried not to think about it so I've been waiting since March for this appointment now in my head I'm thinking it can't be that bad if they've made me wait this long because it, if it is that bad and they've made me wait this long that's disgusting um so that's just in my head that it can't be that bad or else they would have seen but i am feeling really nervous now because obviously they have to send them off for testing so that's worrying but i wanted to speak about it because i wanted to say that it is it's not normal to be happening to your body but it is a common occurrence i didn't know anyone with anything like this and as soon as i've spoke about it loads of people have said oh i've had to have that done and i've had to have that done and i've had so it's very common so i think as women we need to remove the stigma around talking about women's health and opening up more around it because i was like embarrassed to talk about my symptoms i was embarrassed to go to the nurse about it but i shouldn't be embarrassed like at the end of the day it's your health so yeah i just wanted to come on and talk like if you've been having any like odd symptoms or anything like odd things happening just go and get checked because you just never know so i'm going to go for my appointment now to get these tumors removed he did say i might feel unwell for the rest of the day so i'm hoping that that's not the case um but i, I am off work today for this so that's at least a bonus that i don't have to go to work afterwards and i'm just going to relax at home henry's really poorly which isn't great because he's at home and now kieran's poorly so i feel as though they've stolen my sick day to be honest with you um, i was hoping to have a nice sick day at home where i could just watch cheesy christmas films because i love to watch the cheesy crappy hallmark films but kieran doesn't so i was thinking oh, if i have a day on my own i can relax on the sofa i'm forced to relax and i can watch cheesy films but he's off work because he's sick and henry's there because he's sick so I'll probably be the one looking after them, which I was hoping it'd be the other way around. But anyway, I'm going to have to get going because my appointment's in five minutes and I've had to park about a mile away from the hospital. So we all know I'm not going to be able to walk that fast. It's not that far away to be fair, but it feels that far away because I've had to park on the back car park. So let me get going and I will catch up with you and tell you how everything went later.